Hi, my name is Rick Dahmers. I teach instrumental music education at Rowan University, and my primary instrument is saxophone. I'd like to share with you some techniques you can use in your practicing that will help you improve your intonation in your playing, and ways to use a tuner like this Korg Y tune, which actually has a transmitter in the neck strap that's transmitting to the tuner on the stand. Typically, a lot of beginning saxophone players will play with an embouchure that is too tight where they're supporting the reed with, with their jaw and their, by pushing their teeth up through their bottom lip instead of supporting it with their lip muscles. And so they're really clamping down on the reed and this leads to a lot of intonation problems. The way that if you set up your embouchure this way, it can avoid some of those problems. So first of all, when you put the, the mouthpiece in your mouth, it should come directly under your top teeth. And the top teeth should rest, so your head almost rests on, that, on the top of your mouthpiece. Then as you say, O, oh, and roll the bottom lip over so it supports the reed, then think about all of these muscles like making like a thick rubber band. And that is what actually supports the reed. Now, there, I'm going to need to adjust and make fine adjustments in playing slightly higher or lower depending on the band of the group I'm playing with, where I am in the chord. So I need to be able to adjust that embouchure. So if I'm watching the tuner and I tighten or loosen my embouchure, I can learn to control and uh, control that pitch. Not unlike kind of a, a slow motion whammy bar on a guitar. So I was able to bend almost a, a, whole st a half step lower and then bring it back up and go a little bit farther above. The more that you can control that bar, the more that you're going to be able to adjust your intonation. Also, as you're playing, you want to make sure that you're thinking about being in the middle of that pitch bend, that you don't want to be right at the top um, where you're fully clamped. So you're, you're, that, that makes sure that you have a nice open embouchure, and that's going to help you play with a better tone. This also helps as you become more of an advanced player and as you work to develop vibrato, that same exercise of bending pitch and watching your control that as you gradually speed that up, that can help you develop vibrato and vary your vibrato by how much you're bending the pitch and how quickly you're bending it. So let me show you. Another tip I can share with you for saxophone is the C sharp, the open C sharp on the middle of the staff tends to be a very out of tune note. So that note, um, there's an alternate fingering that helps us adjust that and it brings it up to pitch. Because as you can see, I'm fairly in tune as when I play this note, it's going to be flat. And by pressing the octave key, third finger on the left hand, third finger on the right, and middle C, You can see that brings it up about 10 cents and that it's in a real technical passage that isn't going to work but when you're sitting on a C sharp of any sustained length that's just a handy extra fingering. Of course most of the other notes you're going to just be making slight adjustments in pitch using your embouchure and that's why that exercise of doing the slow motion bend gives you that control that, needs, that you need when you're making those intonation adjustments on the fly. And that's my two cents on intonation.